welcome to my reality Jeep life with me, the Vermont Jeep Girl, and this is my daily vlog of 2013. I have been on an awesome adventure, a really great road trip yesterday, and I'm going to share that with you. We battled freezing rain, snow, roads that weren't plowed. Uh, we got further down into Mass. It started raining. The roads were flooded because they had that three feet of snow from Nemo. So it made for a really long day yesterday, but I know in the end it is definitely worth it. So take a look at our adventure of our road trip that we had yesterday. We had a great time. <laughs> on the auction over there at Jeep World of New England in Webster, Mass. And we've battled rain, freezing rain, snow. Uh, right now it's 45 degrees. So all the snow that they got from the storm, Nemo, as you can see, they have a lot more snow here than what we have back in Vermont. It's all so warm that it's all foggy. We're heading now over to LaRangeville, New York. We're going over to see our good friends at CSE Off-Road, and uh, we'll let you know when we're there. Okay, so this is what we got. Our lane ends because it hasn't been plowed, so then we have to squish over into other lanes. So now traffic's getting a little thicker. Look at the snow that's piled up on the side of the road here. It's amazing the size of these snow banks. There is a lot of snow here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we just lost like two lanes of traffic here. I guess they couldn't plow the other lanes, so all three lanes had to squish down into Follow one. Follow Interstate 84 westbound, US 6 westbound, towards Waterbury for 83 miles. Wow, traffic's backed up on the other side. Wow, look how far traffic's backed up. I didn't see any accidents. There's nothing on this side, but boy, look at the other side. We'll zoom in for you. Look at the traffic over there. Oh, boy. Huh. I don't know if you can see it or not. There is a building over there. That's how foggy it is. We're now in Hartford, Connecticut. Look at the traffic on the other side. It's been this way now for, I don't know, six, seven miles. And as you can see, we're pretty okay on our side. But that just goes to show you how foggy it is. Yes, there is a big building back there. Here come some bucket trucks. Oh, cool, we're going through a tunnel. Oh, look at that. You gotta love the road trip thing. This is cool. Okay, as you can tell, the visibility is pretty poor. It's only three o'clock in the afternoon right now, but boy, I'll tell you, this snow that they got from Nemo is really melting at 40 degrees. It's causing lots of fog. Ooh, look at the color of that truck. So we've been on the road approximately seven hours now, driving through snow, freezing rain, horrible road conditions, fog, you name it. And of course, I'm not driving, my good friend is, and I'm bored. Okay, let's see if you guys can focus in on this. We got a little blinky dot, the blue one on the right, and that's us. And then the red dot is where we're gonna end up over at CSE Off-Road. That's really cool. So we're tracking our commute here. We still have, according to the GPS, we still have 79 miles to go. Okay, we got ourselves a convoy of bucket trucks. I believe there's six bucket trucks in this convoy here. We just passed one and we're coming up on the pack of the other ones here. 
said, these guys put their lives on the line every day to keep the power restored for you guys. They get a thumbs up in my book. Oh, their lane is running out. They all gotta come over here now. Again, the lanes are only half plowed. Uh, poor guys. Ooh, what the hell's that? It's really cool looking. Look at the snow flying over there. Look at the blower. Okay, you all want a snow blower? This is what you guys need. Look at that thing. Oops. Okay, we've kind of come to a stop here. Traffic is only moving in the far lane, which is an exit that we're not taking. As you can see, even off to the side, it's still foggy. Looking for some Jeeps. I haven't seen that many Jeeps today. Just kind of hoping for a Jeep wave. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a bumper sticker on this car in front of us. I'm gonna try to zoom in. See if I can hold my hand straight. Right there. My mom said you're ugly. Ah, that's not very nice. That's not nice at all. My mom said you're ugly. Can you believe that? <laughs> there it is. They're loading snow off the off ramp. That's how much snow there is. They need a loader to get. snow off the highway get over the guardrail okay so we're only like four miles from where we need to be for CSE off-road and there was some accident here so we get a fire truck over here we have a guy directing traffic you have the two cars that smacked into each other behind the school bus we have the police officer an ambulance and just a real big mess now. So everywhere we turn, we have another obstacle. Amazing, isn't it? There's the car. I don't think anybody got hurt. Everybody seemed to be walking around. Look at the fog. All of a sudden there's fog again. Can't see anything anywhere. Oh my goodness. Visibility is piss poor. But you look out here, it's like looking out into a big white cloud. Mm. It's freaky. Can't see anything. Look at those trees. It's just freaky. <laughs> this is where we need to cue the scary music. I mean, look at it. It's just like a big white... See the left. <laughs> Thank you.
You have reached your destination. Gotta be a driveway here somewhere. truck that must be getting ready to load up all them wonderful jeep parts. Two jeeps. Okay, we're here. As we finally made our way to CSE Off-Road's warehouse, in the dark, in the fog, don't know where we're at, we're at the uh, hands of our GPS. Seems like we were going to nowhere, we couldn't see anything, there was so much fog. So. So I want to say thank you to Gene for showing us around his warehouse. And one of the best highlights was meeting Gene DeMarta, owner and president of CSEOffRoad.com. Jeep accessories and Jeep parts for your Jeep. Check out his site. He has some really great things going on there. Yeah, good.